The innovation for ammonia fuel in Japan. In order to prevent global warming, it is urgent to take measures to reduce CO2 emissions. One solution is to utilize CO2 free fuels to reduce fossil fuels. Let's take a look at recent innovative technologies developed in Japan. One is a technology for ammonia as a fuel. In Cross Ministerial Strategic Innovation Promotion Program, Energy Carriers, we have found that ammonia has high potential to play an important role toward a hydrogen society. Using ammonia as fuel would contribute to reduced CO2 emissions different from current fossil fuels. A remarkable effect of CO2 reduction is expected when ammonia is used in industrial and power generation fields. One point is that ammonia usage entails fuel NOx formation. Let's discuss our recent achievements on utilization of ammonia as a fuel. Utilization of ammonia as a fuel for Power generation by gas turbines Coal-fired power plants Industrial furnaces And fuel cells Utilization for power generation by gas turbines Ammonia had not been recognized as a fuel because it has a lower combustion intensity, such as a high ignition temperature and a slow burning speed. However, we have revealed that ammonia can be used as a fuel, similar to natural gas using conventional combustion equipment. This is a pre-mixed ammonia air flame, which is stabilized by a swirl burner. The visual characteristic of the ammonia combustion is an orange flame, while the familiar natural gas shows a blue flame. The ammonia flame is stabilized in high speed by using swirl burners, which are used in gas turbines. Because the swirl flame is very stable, a large amount of heat is successfully released using even small burners. Fukushima Renewable Energy Institute, National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, has successfully demonstrated the world's first gas turbine generation using ammonia fuel, collaborating with Tohoku University. Stable power generation by 50 kilowatt class gas turbine was demonstrated by 100% ammonia combustion after co-firing of methane and ammonia in 2015. A basic research on the combustion method to reduce the concentration of nitrogen oxide in exhaust gas has been continued. The development of scale-up on power generation is going now. In 2018, a stable power generation in 2 megawatt class gas turbine was successfully demonstrated by 20% ammonia methane co-firing. Until now, we demonstrated by using the combustor developed at IHI. It is the smallest size of gas turbine for industrial use. We will promote to develop large gas turbine toward early implementation in society. Utilization for coal-fired power plants Coal-fired power generation has an issue of generating a large amount of CO2 and one way to solve it is to mix carbon-free fuel. Ammonia is usually used for denitrification treatment at power plants. It is very attractive if ammonia can be used as a fuel for boilers without increasing nitrogen oxide concentration in the exhaust gas. Test results in Central Research Institute of Electric Power Industry showed that co-firing of pulverized coal and ammonia could be performed stably without increasing nitrogen oxide in the exhaust gas when ammonia was injected into the appropriate position in the single burner furnace. Based on the results, in July 2017, the test of coal power generation by co-firing ammonia was done at Mizushima Power Station of Chugoku Electric Power Company Incorporated. 
That was the world's first time in the actual power station. The current amount of ammonia co-fired is 444 kilograms per hour. Our target is 450 kilograms per hour at this time. All output is 155.5 megawatts, and the part with coal firing using ammonia is equivalent to about 1 megawatt. To develop the coal firing and other coal fired power plants, various combustion tests have been carried out. Using multi burner furnace, Combustion characteristics and nitrogen oxide concentration affected by interference between burners were studied on ammonia pulverized coal co firing. At large test facility of combustion with a heat input of 10 megawatts at IHI, the test of co firing 20% ammonia pulverized coal was started in December 2017. Based on these results, some coal-fired power plants have started the basic design of facility remodeling with small modifications to use ammonia as a part of the fuel. Utilization for industrial furnaces Two model combustion furnaces have been installed in Osaka University. One is a 10 kilowatt class and the other is a 100 kilowatt class. Professor Akamatsu et al. study on combustion when replacing natural gas or the like currently used as fuel to ammonia. This equipment features the burner of almost the same size as a burner installed in a practical industrial furnace. By adopting multi-stage combustion and oxygen-enriched combustion, we succeeded in suppressing the concentration of nitrogen oxide in the exhaust lower than the environmental standard in Japan and achieving heat transfer enhancement of the flame. Based on these technologies, we are developing the adaptation of ammonia as fuels in the steel and cement industry. Utilization for fuel cells we have been studying direct ammonia-fueled solid oxide fuel cells, SOFC. A fuel cell consists of a fuel electrode, an electrolyte, and an air electrode. In this research, ammonia is supplied to a fuel electrode, though hydrogen is supplied in a conventional fuel cell. In July 2015, Professor Higuchi et al. successfully demonstrated the generation of a 200-watt class direct ammonia-fueled SOFC, the largest scale in the world. Suitability of various materials and parts have been studied to develop ammonia SOFC stacks. Especially, development of a new glass sealant preventing an ammonia leak was important. Ammonia as a fuel was directly supplied to the stack, and a satisfactory level of generation characteristics was attained, almost the same as the fuel cell using pure hydrogen. After extending the generation scale, the prototype of one kilowatt class SOFC system accomplished thermally self-sustained operation in May 2018. We successfully demonstrated automatic operation of this prototype system. Basic concept development of the system was completed. We are now working on further improvement for the commercial model. Our targets are several tens of kilowatt to several megawatt on power generation scale. We aim to use ammonia SOFC in controlled areas such as factories. As mentioned above, we showed that ammonia could be expected as a CO2-free fuel. It is desirable to prevent CO2 emissions not only in using ammonia as a fuel, but also producing ammonia. Currently, commercial ammonia is produced from hydrogen obtained by reforming of natural gas. That is called brown ammonia because CO2 is discharged during hydrogen production. If the CO2 is returned to the ground, with CO2 capture and storage or enhanced oil recovery technology, 
It can produce ammonia without releasing CO2 to the atmosphere and would be called blue ammonia. We are investigating manufacturers that would be able to provide blue ammonia. We are also developing a new technology for green ammonia production. We are developing technology for producing ammonia using renewable energy instead of natural gas as a feedstock. Specifically, we are aiming to produce ammonia from hydrogen obtained by the electrolysis of water using wind or solar power. It will be possible to produce ammonia that does not emit CO2 in the production process. To be suitable for utilizing renewable energy sources, a new catalyst and process for ammonia production were developed. In April 2018, the demonstration of ammonia production at a new pilot plant was started in Fukushima Renewable Energy Institute. In the near future, we hope to produce blue ammonia or green ammonia from CO2-free hydrogen overseas and utilize these ammonia as CO2-free fuels in Japan. Utilization of ammonia as a fuel will become a door opener for the realization of a hydrogen society.